my name's Sam Petter, and I'm here today to ask you for £200,000 for 20% of my business, Tatty Bumpkin. When I became a parent, I became really interested in children's development, health, but also a wider concern um, for the sustainability of the planet. So I started Tatty Bumpkin six years ago, and today we have four main revenue streams. I started off with classes, and today the classes are based around music, movement and storytelling. At the same time, I wanted to produce ethical clothing for children that encourage movement. We say our clothes are clothes to feel good in, clothes to feel good about. Um, the third part of the business is franchising. In two years, we've sold um, 20 franchises, and currently they're £10,000 with an ongoing royalty of 12.5%. And the fourth part of the business is a children's animation. We've been uh, attracted some of the best writers and animators and producers who work with TV, Kids TV to produce a children's pilot for launch in New Year. Currently our turnover is 250000 with a net profit of 19000 The current brand um, licensing market in the UK is worth £2 billion a year. I know Tatty Bumpkin can take a, a big chunk of that market. I'm really proud of what we've achieved and I hope that you can see some of my vision. I look forward to taking your questions. It's a wide-ranging business proposition from Kent-based Sam Petter. Willing to give away a 20% stake, she needs £200,000 to further develop her children's brand. Peter Jones gets straight to the point. You've clearly put a lot of work into creating this. Yeah. You've done a lot of things. Yeah. And yet, I am totally shocked that you so far have been relatively, quite seriously, unsuccessful. We're successful. You're the, not. No, we're not. Su we're successful in the fact that we've built up the brand to this point. Well, you haven't the built any brand. The reason we haven't. That's my point. Well, quarter of a okay. million pounds. We've got like marketing. 19K. The reason is I've built this business in a quite unusual way, okay? I'm really more of a creative visionary and I can see the end point. 250,000, 19,000 pounds net profit against a company you're valuing at a million pounds. I think that's almost insulting. Oh, sorry, feel insulted. That's 50 <laughs> times. If you were to sell your company today, that's 50 okay, times tell you, earnings. I've self-funded the business today. I'm not asking for any more money than I've put in myself. So how much have you invested? 240,000 pounds. Oh. A lively exchange, and one that shows Sam's commitment and confidence. Now, Duncan Bannatyne wants to drill down into the finances. What revenue do you generate from the clothing? Um, this last year it was £100,000. And what's your projections for that going forward? Um, in 2014, we're looking at turning over £5 million on the merchandising because we're going to use the TV character as a, a, a springboard for launching the well, merchandising. Well, you can only use the TV character if the TV character gets on TV. My vision, really, is to create a kind of ethical Teletubbies, if you like. So has that been commissioned? Um, well, we've got interest from people who want to see the pilot, so it wouldn't be commissioned until we got the pilot. Yeah, well, having interest from people who want to see the pilot is a long way from getting Yeah, I know, yeah. Sam, I don't think you've got a cat's hell in chance of ever yeah. bringing this to television. OK. It does absolutely nothing. It sends absolutely no message, subliminally or anything. A child is not going to get that, actually, I'm an ethically made, I'm an ethically produced character. Yeah, that, that is nothing but a rag doll. You haven't told us anything okay. about Tatty Bumpkin. It's a good point. I did think about it, but at the end of the day, I wanted to come across with some semblance of, like, a business person as well. I mean, I can do it now because I can do it really well. I'll talk to you like your kids and I'll show you. Don't worry if you haven't done it before. We're going to do a little tiny dance. We're going to stretch up. We're going to be bendy, giggly, <laughs> clever. Strong, we're super strong. We're gonna clap. Clap, clap, clap. Do clapping, Stop. James. Clap, clap, clap. Have a little dance. If you're not really sure, you can do tiny dancing. Or if you're in a really good mood, like us, we're gonna do big dancing. Stretch up, really good, Peter. Giggly, <laughs> clever, and high. Jump up like Tatty Bumpkin. Jump, jump, jump. Dancing. Okay. 
Okay, brilliant. Well done, everybody. A spirited demonstration, but has it salvaged Sam's pitch? Theo Pafitis wants to know more about the energetic entrepreneur. Who's Sam? Who are you? What do you do? Where do you start? OK, I, I st I've done part of a business studies degree, but I wanted to... You did part of a business <laughs> yeah, study? Yeah, I left, what because I wanted part? to get and do some business. It's boring, was it? Yeah, it when was, did you it do was that? because I'm basically a creative person. When did you do that? Uh, when, I, when I left school. Then I retrained to be a graphic designer, and then I worked on some of the early interactive projects for children's book publisher and worked on children's books. OK. And I'm also a yoga teacher. Right. Uh, part, and um, and so really all roads led to what, Tati what, what, what can't you do? Well, I really enjoy lots of different and things. And how long? But the, when I s thought of Tatty Bumpkin, that is something I've really focused on okay. for five years, uh, yeah, six years, uh, something that was really magical. I think, Sam, you're amazing. I've been so amazed at your confidence, which I think is incredible. The thing that's concerning me is mm. I think you would be very difficult to work with because... You're such a creative, you're so passionate, you have a very clear idea about what you want. Yeah. And I've been sitting here watching you thinking, if I was working with Sam and I said, Sam, listen, I don't want you to do this, I don't want you to do that, right now I just want you to focus and deliver me that 200,000 profit, yeah. you would struggle. Because, you, you know, just the fact that you've got four different businesses, yeah. my style would be slightly different and say, let's get one really right. So, regrettably, Sam, I'm out. OK. The judgment comes as a blow to Sam. And marketing expert Deborah Meaden now wants to scrutinise the whole concept. You talk about animation and you talk about brand. What do you think it is? It's a way of interacting with your children that is just uh, creative and fun. And what do you think the brand is, though? It's, it's based around the character. What I'm trying to get at yeah. is Where's the strength in this brand? People just really respond to the simplicity and the, and the kind of message, the ethical message. Yeah, but it's, where is that ethical? I'm just looking at things. It's where, because where's... all the clothing are bamboo and organic cotton. All the, the teaching materials are made by a fair trade cooperative. Um, How do I know that? Because if you saw the literature, the literature is... So when I go in and I t try to buy stuff... Yeah. I have to buy, I have to read Well, it booklet. says on the labels, on the, um, on the new labels, it says handmade, handwoven in Sri Lanka. You haven't got a brand. Nothing yeah. you're showing me is pulling it all together and telling me, giving me my reason to buy it. Yeah. I really would go back and revisit your business plan, take animation out of it. Yeah. Because if it's not strong as a product, it ain't going to be strong as a character. So for that reason, I'm out. Another dragon out, and Sam's chances of investment are looking slim. Theo Pafitis is now ready to have his say. Classes, sounds good. Franchise, sounds good. Clothing and animation, you're nowhere near at the moment. I mean, you're projecting £10 million pounds at retail on the clothing. No. If um, sorry, no, it's um, five. Well, but you're selling yeah. it on to someone else to resell. Oh, I see what you mean, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. So that's yeah. ten million. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big slug on children's yeah. clothing. Well, it's just not realistic. Yeah. You've just brought too many ideas. I won't be investing okay. in you. I'm sorry, that's I'm out. OK, thank you, Theo. Sam, I... I think you're an incredible energetic individual and there's clearly you've got an amazing ability and a lot of talent there's no question even though I've given you quite a hard time the issue is is this a business that could potentially scale and it's clear that you need help you need restrictions in certain areas you need focus yeah that's true so I don't think it's something that I'm gonna go with so okay. I unfortunately Sam I'm out that's all right thank you Sam do you know what what I think some of the dragons have been too kind to you today. I think you really need a reality shop. Yeah. Everybody sells clothing. It's a very small yeah. market in this industry. Um, the thing is, you're going to destroy it all by going to spend a lot of money on an animation yeah. which is never going to work and you're going to be in big trouble. And so for that reason, I'm out. OK. Thanks for all your advice, everybody. Thanks for coming. Yeah. In the end, it was a swift exit for Sam, who leaves with nothing.